Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this presentation, we will explore the transformation of property from a shared resource into a private commodity, focusing on the historical forces that drove these changes and comparing them with the ethical property concepts in Islamic law. The change in ways of thinking about property goes back to the enclosure movement, which turned the common lands into private estate for the wealthy. The poor were stripped of their light to these lands, which provided them with ways to create a living for themselves and live independently. And this forced them into wage labor under harsh conditions. This loss of rights to the commons transformed decent husbandmen into a mob of beggars and thieves, stripped them of their dignity, and reduced them to exploitable commodities in the labor market uh, as a necessity for survival. The aristocracy had long desired this privatization, but this has been successfully resisted by the masses with the support of the king who feared giving too much power and wealth to the aristocrats. However, this changed after the uh, abolishment of the monarchy and then its restoration where the aristocrats restored the monarch but placed strong limitations on his rights and demanded uh, returns for themselves in the form of privatization which the weakened monarch was unable to resist. The enclosure acts have been called a revolution of the rich against the poor Entire villages in rural areas were stripped of common lands and entire populations were forced to migrate to cities and become landless laborers. This marked the beginning of capitalism creating two classes, one which was extremely wealthy while the other had only their lives to sell in return for a meager living. These were critical elements, elements in the changes in the ways of thinking that accompanied capitalism, the commodification of labor, it becoming a commodity for sale, and the commodification of land, which was once the habitat and the source of sustenance for the masses, became a commodity for sale for profits. Modern properties laws are based on many absurdities, including the idea that where a white settler settles, sets foot, that area becomes his property. So even today, the Americas are named after the Italian explorer who discovered these lands, supposedly, ignoring the vast civilizations which inhabited these lands for centuries with their own histories and culture. Islamic property law stands in dramatic contrast. Ownership is a trust given to those who utilize the land for public welfare. Summing up, we find that the great transformation in Europe changed traditional conceptions of property rights with social responsibilities to the capitalist notion of absolute right to your own property uh, and the idea that there was no social responsibilities on owners of property. This created extreme divisions of class and extreme wealth inequality, which continues today. Islamic property law offers a viable alternative where property is to be treated as a trust, an amana from Allah, and used in a socially responsible way. Uh, these conceptions have the capability of saving us from the climate catastrophe which beckons. The search is on for solutions to the climate crisis, but none is to be found within the capitalist imagination. And so it is necessary to go outside those boundaries and rethink uh, how we manage land, wealth, and resources using Islamic conceptions. So we end with a prayer, O oh Allah, lead us out of the darkness into the light. Show us the truth and give us the courage to act upon it. Allow us to do the best of deeds and fulfill the purpose for which you have created us. And 
اللهم صل على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام للمرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين